whole notes, half notes, quarter notes. What are they? Welcome to the wonderful world of music. Music, what is music? Music is organized sounds placed in time. The music staff has five lines and four spaces. Music notes are oval shaped symbols that are placed on the lines and in the spaces. They represent musical sounds called pitches. The lines of the staff are numbered from bottom to top. The spaces between the lines are also numbered from bottom to top. If the notes appear higher on the staff, they sound higher in pitch. If the notes appear lower on the staff, they sound lower in pitch. Music notes are named after the first seven letters of the alphabet from A to G. By their position on the staff, they represent the entire range of musical sound. Clef signs help to organize the staff so notes can be easily read. The treble clef is used for notes that are higher in pitch. Instruments such as the flute, clarinet, trumpet, and saxophones use it. And in the chorus, the soprano and alto voices read from it as well. The names of the notes on the lines from bottom to top are E, G, B, D, and F. We use the mnemonic device, every good boy does fine. The names of the notes in the spaces from bottom to top spell out the word face. The bass clef is used for notes that are lower in pitch. Instruments such as the trombone, euphonium, and tuba use it. And in the chorus, the tenor and bass use it as well. The names of the notes on the lines from bottom to top are G, B, D, F, and A. We use the mnemonic device, good boys do fine always, to remember it. The notes in the spaces from bottom to top are A, C, E, and G. All cows eat grass, is how we remember that one. Now that we've talked about pitches, now let's talk about the note values. While the placement of the notes on the staff indicates the pitch, the duration of the note, or how long the note is held, is determined by the note value. This is a whole note. A whole note receives four beats of sound. This is a half note. A half note receives two beats of sound. This is a quarter note. It receives one beat of sound. This is an eighth note. It receives half a beat of sound. This is a sixteenth note, and it receives one fourth of the beat of sound. These are the music rests. The music rests indicate silence in music. They are worth the same amount of beat or the same duration as their musical counterparts. The whole note, half note, quarter note, eighth note, and sixteenth note. These are the rest. They calculate silence in music. Music is divided into equal parts by bar line. The area between the two bar lines is called a measure or bar. A double bar line is written at the end of a piece of music to signify that the piece is over. The time signature appears at the beginning of the music after the clef sign. It has two numbers. The top number tells you how many beats are in each measure, and the lower number tells you which type of note receives one beat. 
If there's a four at the bottom, the quarter note receives one beat. In 4-4 four, four time, the quarter note receives one beat. It sets the pulse for the piece of music. Each measure receives four beats. So therefore, any combination of four quarter notes, two half notes, or one whole note, they all equal four, and they'll all fit. So there you have it. That's all you need to know about music, because these are the basic music fundamentals. Until next time, let's get out of here.